Welcome to fabulous Anaheim Hills. This project here is a retaining wall project that we are doing for an HOA in Anaheim Hills. They actually have this massive retaining wall that kind of garnishes the entire uh, HOA or their small association. It's a pretty small community association. Uh, I think of like probably 50 houses, but everything is based on this retaining wall that way. So cut fill lot, you can kind of see the slope of the hill here. So they're retaining everything hill here to do the pad, you know, build the pads out. But then you also have a lot of, you know, earth retention forces as well as, you know, consolidated fill materials that are, you know, having, having the capabilities of moving. And when those start moving, as long, along with the lateral forces, it's actually pushing against this retaining wall and rotating this thing out. So what we did is we worked with Hellfreak and Associates to come up with a design um, to stabilize and retain this retaining wall. Uh, you can see that the retaining wall is various in size. You have some spots that are uh, roughly five feet in height up to over 12 feet in height, which is down there and we'll get down there in a second. But what we did is every eight feet on center, we installed a helical tie back um, into the soil behind the house. Most of them are up underneath the house at a 35 degree angle. So we get stay away from all the utilities, plumbing, that type of thing. And we're getting into that good native soil to help, you know, give some lateral loading value to this retaining wall. Now, these are kind of the end product. We're finishing up, this is our last day here, uh, finishing up cutting some of the all thread and getting this thing nice and clean uh, for the end results. So as you, we make our way through here, you can see each one of the tie back locations, we core drill through the, the wall and then we installed our helical. And then after the helical was installed, we then filled back in the hole, the concrete, the block wall hole with some grout and all thread, our rebar. And then after that, we put this plate on it, galvanized front and back and tightened off the all thread and this is what your end result looks like after the all thread gets cut last step so we'll work our way down here and you can kind of see the wall height starts to increase as we make our way to this side one thing also that you'll want to take a look at is on every corner that the walls kind of jot out and increase in height we are doing strapping um, this one had a decent amount of movement lateral, which you can kind of see from this crack here where this thing was rotating out. All we're doing with these straps is just, you know, give it one more little bit of secure, kind of keep that all together in case any of these uh, segmented blocks want to kind of move independently of the wall, which I don't foresee it, but it's just another step, another precautionary step for uh, what this engineer and this design came up with. Again, we walk along here, we do every eight feet. We do a tie back. And then like I said, you can see the wall height continue to increase in, in height. Now, this section right here of the wall is the tallest section. It's 12 plus feet in height. And that's why it has two rows of tie backs. Um, we weren't able to really get the lateral resistance we needed with one row like these other ones. So what we came up with was a design for two rows to go ahead and supply that additional lateral support uh, to make sure that wall doesn't rotate out and it's not, you know, it's the loads distributed evenly on it and you're not uh, too high, too low on the wall and everything else. Phase two of this uh, retaining wall project is gonna be on this section of wall here. It's gonna be a little bit smaller. It's only 12 anchors and 12 vertical anchors. Um, so it'll be starting here at this corner and work our way around. Um, we're anticipating getting that here in the next month, month and a half. And then we'll be able to get started on this. This is gonna be identical as far as like the construction as the other phase was. 
Um, this one just got added in late, so going through the permitting process, all that stuff, like I said, just adds additional time.